Hello guys, this is Razon01 giving you my thoughts on the 2017 Monaco Grand Prix qualifying. So let's get on with this. Awesome to see um, Susie, Susie back um, after having baby Jack, um, who who just um, was bo was born um, six weeks ago. I think she looked absolutely amazing and congratulations girl um, the other thing to, to mention before we get into this is that Jensen Button unfortunately had a, a fifth, was given a 15, um, 15 place grid drop uh, because of engine engine part issues so that was that that's hamper that's hamper hamper is qualifying from the beginning and uh, stuff with one dorm actually got a three place grid penalty in Barcelona for um impeding I think it was uh, but I might be wrong on that. Force India guys did an awesome job getting Esteban Ocon's car fixed after he plowed into the barrier, uh, into the barrier uh, in uh, free practice um, three, um, which was this morning. Uh, so they did it in record time. Um, so. And also, the Red Bull guys managed to fix uh, Daniel Ricciardo's um, brake by wire issue um, that that he experienced in uh, final practice this morning. Three times in Q1 were, were Max Verstappen, um, Vettel, and Raikkonen. Two stop with Van Dorm for crashing your car um, right on right on Hamilton's hot lap because his um, Hamilton had um, the ma had to save the had the massive tank slapper and uh, probably took the title of best save away from away from Max Verstappen uh, you guys know what one I'm on about, the one where Max nearly uh, should have clipped, should have crashed, but managed to keep it on a straight and narrow. Anyway, the, the, um, Hamilton had to, had to do, had a similar moment on his previous lap, but be, be, uh, due, due to Van Dorn cra crashing, he, um, he, he, um, didn't make it into, into the final part of qualifying, which made me really happy to be honest, um, because I I do not like Lewis Hamilton. I think he's he's a bit arrogant and a bit full of himself. But anyway, three uh, qualify qualifiers were Kimi Raikkonen, who scores his his first pole position in nine. In nine years, um, and followed by Sebastian Vettel and Valtteri Bottas. Now, I wonder whether uh, becoming a father for the second time in, in May this of this year has has made Kimi faster or something. So, my pre I'm predicting Kimi to win the 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 Monarch the Monaco Grand Prix tomorrow, followed by Sebastian Vettel and and uh, Valtteri Bottas. So literally, my top three for the win for the podium uh, tomorrow are the same as um, the the top three qualifiers today all right cheers for watching guys this concludes my um 
a summary report of the 2017 Monaco Grand Prix and thank you for for your support don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my um to my channel if you want um let's see whether we can get this video uh, up to um 1000 views um so do uh, share if you if you like this video and yeah and i really appreciate your support guys thank you for watching i'm out of here see you tomorrow bye